Hey Zoom. Okay, so today I am going to show you how to grow. Um, I'm going to start with chives. I'm going to do six different plants in my planters, but I'm going to break them down into single videos just so you can watch what you want to watch, don't watch what you don't want to watch. So my bed is about 33 inches long. So I've divided them into um, three sections of 11 inch each. They're about 11 inches by 13. And the reason why I did this is because I'm using a method of gardening called the square foot gardening method. And that is just a method that a lot of container gardeners use or people who garden and raise beds. Because in traditional gardening, it um, they do rows. And so they factor in space for you to be able to walk in between the rows. Square foot gardening allows you to basically garden more plants in less space. So I am going to start off with chives because I like chives. Now in the square foot gardening, you're supposed to plant nine chives per square inch. However, the thing is with chives is you can pick them out and eat them before they're fully mature. So I might do a little bit more, I don't know yet. Um, very small seeds. Okay, so just in case none of you have ever like gardened before, when you get the seeds, you kind of want to maneuver them around and make sure all the seeds are down here. Um, just so you don't cut or damage any of your seeds. Now chives, you plant um, a quarter of an inch below the soil. So that's about to your finger, to the, that's about your fingernail. So out you go, po just poke in about your fingernail, not very deep, make a little hole. Oh, and for you totally blind gardeners out there, before I garden anything square foot gardening method, you can measure, that's completely, you know, fine. Um, like for instance, to measure out your bed, there are um, accessible rollers that you can use. Also what I like to do a lot of times while measuring things, is um, cut a rope or cut a string into a foot and six inches. But for something like this, I kind of just feel around and get a feel of my spacing and go from there because it doesn't have to be exact. If you want it to be exact, there is seed tape that you can buy and or make. It's, and it's this paper tape that have seeds on it that are spaced a specific um, spacing apart so if you want it to be exact or you don't want to have to worry about it you plant the whole tape it can be cut to fit whatever length you want normally they're about four and a half feet long for seeds so that is another method if you don't want to bother with this measuring nonsense so anyway I'm just taking my hand I'm coming in here oh I have popsicle sticks um, for those that can't see that help me know my sections just because it was a lot easier for me personally just to check, section it out beforehand that's just what I found worked you of course can do whatever you want um, now these chai seeds are very very small they're kind of finicky you just pop one in and put the soil over it Now I'm going to come over here to my fingernail. Okay. I'm going to pop one seed in. Again, just slightly put the soil over it. And I'm going, I'm starting at the left corner and moving in. You, again, do it however you want. Put a seed in. Now I am going to go ahead and put a fourth seed in this row because um some of my seeds probably aren't gonna germinate it should also be noted i'm not sure <laughs> whether these chives <laughs> are gonna like the amount of light they're getting <laughs> so we're just gonna see what kind of happens here um so see this row would probably really be kind of more right here kind of lined up with the popsicle sticks I'm going to go ahead and do that, but I'm probably going to put a seed in the middle there too. Again, remember guys, I'm new to this and I could be doing this completely, totally, utterly wrong. 
and I might get lucky and it might work or I might get unlucky be doing it right and it still might not come out I'm gonna kind of pre-poke my holes so many jokes there but I won't okay and the cool thing is about chives like I said you don't have to let them grow to maturity um, you can pick up pick off baby chives and eat them so I'm not really worried about overcrowding them like I might be with some other plants um, something else I should note this planter is a bit um, shallow so we're gonna see what happens as far as growing carrots and stuff mainly because I really like carrots and why not but here's the thing seeds aren't really all that expensive so even if uh, this doesn't work out for whatever reason it's not that big of a deal don't be afraid to fail it's okay most master gardeners which I definitely am not one but most of them will tell you that they have killed more plants than most people have ever grown it's just kind of par for the course um, and if my chives don't come up we're not going to starve it's not like the zombie apocalypse is coming and my chives are the only thing that's going to keep us alive. We can go to the store and buy food. Okay. Now I'm pouring the seeds into my hand, taking them out of my hand. Again, this is the way I want to do it. Now for storing these seeds, you're going to want to store them in somewhere kind of cool and dry, out of direct sunlight, because direct sunlight will make them think it is time to start growing and then you'll end up with shitty seeds and you don't want that. Okay, so that is my nine very small seeds planted. Now I will be um, watering these in, but I'm not going to do that in this video because I still have more seeds to plant. And you should also pre-wet and pre-moisten your soil, but it's been raining, so my soil is pre-moistened for me. I didn't have to do that step. But if you're planting, that's something you might want to do. So, um, thank you for watching, and good luck if you decide that you desire to grow tribes.